Hello, my dear church boys, and welcome back to St. Robert's Day Game Pickup Podcast, episode number 70. And today, let's chat about life after a game. What happens when you've learned to seduce the most beautiful, most interesting girls around you? What happens when you've slept with so many of them that you couldn't care more, you couldn't care less about sleeping with more of them? What do you do? Because a lot of guys go from being nice, needy, relationship type of guys, the the type that is typical before guys start learning day game, and they go from there to hardcore day gamers. In their life, it's just game, nothing else, which of course, by the way, is the best way to learn game, which we will talk about uh, later in this podcast. So they go from the nice to hardcore day gamers, And then once they get really, really good, some of them keep day gaming hardcore for 10 plus years. Other other guys go the relationship route, but then some of them start being 100% against game, like the former coaches who had big communities online on on their forums are right now. You cannot talk about game, you can talk about growth and and fitness and money, but no, no game talk, yeah? So it's like a big mess. You don't hear... You don't hear about a lot of guys that find a reasonable solution. But guys, as you know, podcast and the YouTube channel are the mainstream places where I publish my content, but a lot of stuff doesn't make it there or makes it there pretty late. So if you want to know more what's happening, what's going on behind the scenes, what are the upcoming uh, day game travels, what's happening, what what the community is chatting about, what are the latest kind of ideas we're working with in day game, then make sure you are on two other places. Make sure you are on St. Robert's mailing list and make sure you are on our day game church group chat on Telegram where we have around 200 guys from all over the world. And the reason is very simple why you should be there. Uh, That's where the things are born. That's where we chat about something and we discover new things and we talk about new things and uh, other, other things. And the other reason is whenever... I'm planning a new trip. I usually tell about the trip first to the mailing list uh, or first to the group chat then to the mailing list and only then I go public. So if one day you want to sign up for some coaching, the best way to sign up, find out about that is in a group chat, then in a mailing list and only then the spots that are left are offered in the podcast and on the YouTube channel. And if you've been working in your day game for more than a few months and you still keep struggling and you want to figure out why the fuck do I suck at day game then the best thing i can offer you to do is to sign up for a coaching call and what we will do is we will talk about your game we will listen to your recorded sets and i'll tell you what exactly should you focus on because maybe you're fixing some things in your game and you're really really good at fixing them but maybe even though you're really good at fixing them you're fixing the wrong things so my job is to tell you what exactly should you fix the Fix first, what are the things, one to three things that fixing them will bring the biggest effect to your overall game. So if you want to do that, send me an email to robert at strobert.blog. That's robert at strobert.blog and we'll talk about it. And now let's start talking about what to do when uh, you've uh, become really good at day game. You you had maybe 50 or more lays from day game, 100 or more lays total and you've uh, fulfilled all of your secret fantasies, whatever you wanted to do, and and then you just want to ask, what the fuck do I do now? I don't care about more hot girls, I don't care about more of the adventures. What the fuck do I do? There's definitely more to life than game. But the thing is, it's a very, very big mess, and it depends on the communities that you're part of. Everyone can find to... Everyone can find proof to their truths. Everyone can find proof to their truths online. And if you are a hardcore day gamer, then maybe your dating view is kind of skewed by that community. So let's say someone is a hardcore feminist and there probably are online communities with other hardcore feminists who believe men should be castrated as kids and They have their arguments and and opinions. And if you don't know much about it, if you don't know counter arguments, then listening to those arguments, you might believe it. If you're a hardcore feminist being 
not a, not the listener of this podcast, you might start to believe in it and you might start to think, oh yeah, that's right, men should be castrated as kids. And just as well, there are communities, communities that are that dumb, there are also some communities, uh, pickup forums and group chats where guys will cross many lines to sleep with the girl. They'll lay about, lie about their age, they'll lie about where they're from, they'll take a lot of fake stories, they will, they, wear, they will wear cool cool rings and leather jackets just because it's cool. Anything to get laid in their community, it's considered the norm. And if those are the only people whose opinions about sleeping with girls you take into account and you don't know any counter arguments or other opinions, you'll think it's okay because that's totally fine in that community. In this world, it's very easy to get uh, to get lost. It's, e- it's easy to become the strange guy reciting pickup lines. Don't get me wrong, it's good to learn structured game using the structured natural approach with copy paste stacks and stories. You should be that you should be doing that. Otherwise, you just your brain doesn't have enough capacity to focus on what you're doing with your body language, what how's your voice like, what's your posture. It's really good to learn structured game and, and keep using it while you while you are learning, while you get to your first, I don't know, eight, maybe ten lays. But the end goal is to use these training wheels to become an interesting dude that girls want to sleep with, not to not to fake it forever. For me, the most interesting, the most beautiful part about the job I do, I of course, I, I care about teaching the student as much as I can. I, I care about them getting laid both while I coach them and both after after they they go home to their home country and, and keep their game. I care about that a lot. But what I care about the most, what is the most what are the most beautiful experiences for me is well, when a student gets successful in day game, he gets he learns to get laid with chicks that are younger, that are really beautiful, like the hotties, the, the chicks he always wanted. It was, it, it's, a, it's this big dream in guy's head, oh, I wish I could sleep with that girl. That's, that's, why, that's, why, that's how music videos are made, that's how ads are made, because we like hot things. And once a guy learns to sleep with those girls, there is a big question they ask. They ask, oh, if I could do this crazy thing I wanted to do my whole life, what else can I what else can I do? Maybe can I can I maybe can I start traveling? Can I start doing more interesting job? Can I can I get ripped? What other crazy things can I do? And this that's what's beautiful about day game for me is how, how it, that is like the first step and it opens doors to living such an interesting life that's what that's what in my opinion is the goal of of game it's taking a guy into to like showing a guy this new path that's once he sees that he, he sees so many other interesting things and lives this interesting life and all of a sudden the more you do that the more interesting stories you have, the more interesting personality you become, the more interest, the more girls you have over, the more options you have in your life, the more abundance you have, and all of a sudden you become like your game is just a part of you in a, in a very beautiful way. You end up traveling to weird destinations like, uh, well, uh, for example, I'm recording this podcast from a small beach town in west coast of Mexico that has like 50,000 people. It's called Puerto Escondido, and it, it's just beautiful. And the people I meet here are amazing, and and that's that's kind of the lifestyle I wanted, and and that's that's what actually gets me laid. Living this lifestyle gets me laid more, just as much as as game skills do. You start from game, but then you work on changing your life. But we live in a very very messy world. People, let's let's say you you take an average white knight, nice guy. I I think I used to be like that, so. Uh, you take a guy like that, and, and he'll probably talk trash about game, about like f- focusing on m- minor differences in the way you stop a girl, and how should you say this or that to get laid, and and what to say if a girl says, oh, I don't think you'll have sex today. This is happening too fast. Yeah, if you tell him all these things that you know you have to do, he will he will start kind of talking trash about game. But the same guy. If he one day become like discovers a, a dating coach he likes and, and, and actually learns game, 
damn, isn't that guy lying a little bit? Like, he, he will take dating tips. He, he actually has some game. He has thing that works for him that he has discovered. He's just against other people telling you what to do and watching videos and reading books about it, even though he, he still has his a little bit fake game. And then you take another group of people, you take day gamers, and day gamers are just day gaming, day gaming, day gaming, and talking trash about relationships, about how, oh, if you end up in a relationship, that's just so bad, what the fuck do you do, blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, but then again, a lot of them, after a few years in game, they decide, okay, uh, I met this interesting girl, I'm gonna settle down. And then you have another group of people, people in their relationships, who... Me, as a day game coach, I can tell you pretty clearly, people in relationships cheat. I've uh, slept with many, many girls who have boyfriends, some who have husbands. It's just, it's a wild, wild world. So, people in relationships, they, they say that relationships are this amazing, beautiful thing. They post these things on Instagram with their family and, and like quotes how family is the most important thing for them. But then... They cheat or they're watching tons of porn, which I don't know, is it better than cheating? It's, 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 a, tricky, it's a tricky question. So all of these groups of people that, should, that I described, they have their strong opinions that they don't hesitate to voice, that they don't hesitate to tell to others. But those opinions, they aren't necessarily following those that, that advice and opinions they have themselves. It's just... It's, a, it's, a, it's what they're screaming out loud, but it's not necessarily the life they actually, in reality, live. Everyone has his or her camp, but they're not fully living in that camp. And what also happens a lot, people tend to jump very aggressively from one camp to another. You might take a nice guy who learns game. He will jump from being a nice guy from this white knight uh, approach towards women to boom you know he's a day gamer now he's gaming now that's his whole life and that's what he believes 100 percent and then he gets in a relationship and all of a sudden he is against game or or he gets married and and he's like all about relationship but he's cheating and and then he gets divorced and it's just a huge fucking mess but this is a weird thing i learned when playing poker and let me explain this to you and you'll see what what relevance it has to day game you have if you have if if we used to discuss a particular hand of poker where i could have played it one way or i could have played it the other way and sometimes in the forums when you ask questions there is this big discussion where two camps have very well argued reasoning for choosing play A or choosing play B and it was this this big mess and everyone says no it's like it's this and and the other group says it's that well the one thing I learned from poker is if it's a decision where 50% of really smart people say it's A and 50% of really smart people say it's B maybe it's really important first of all maybe it's not important which decision you ch- you pick but also, maybe it's if you're saying A, maybe it's really, really worth to understand the people who say it's B. So whenever it's 50-50, whenever you have huge clashes between two groups of people, it's important to try to understand the other side's opinion. And in the world of relationship and dating and day game and seduction and all of this fucking mess that, that we're a big part of, well, there are several camps. There are guys who say game is bad, then there are hardcore day gamers, then there are the relationship people. So maybe it's, it's worth uh, not learning only about the thing that you're interested in, but also learn about the other side of the, of the argument, about their opinions. For example, I'm listening to podcast of Esther Perel. She's a very well-known relationship therapist. And her podcast is recorded therapy sessions with couples where she not only plays the recorded session, but also explains what's going on in the session, explains the dynamics and explains how she is trying to help them solve those problems. And I'm not listening to that because I'm looking for serious relationships, 
But because I want to be educated, I want to keep discovering, I want to keep being curious. And I am thinking, what is life after a game? Because as, as many of you know, I don't, I don't care about getting like X number of plays every month, X number of, of plays every year, and, and just chasing tail all the time. Don't get me wrong, when I go to a new city, I, I will day game, I, I, I will go out and uh, I, I will still like use my skill set a lot, I still love it, but I, I right now I'm thinking about a lot of other things and, and where, where can I take this platform that I have and, and this, this knowledge that I have, what can I do with it? And let, let's look back a bit about how I started game because it, it kind of it kind of plays into all of these things. So. I used to be a relationship type of guy. I, I've been in six serious relationships. And I know that sounds like, what the fuck, you're 33, you've been single for three years. How the fuck did you end up in six serious relationships until 30, be, before being 30? So my first relationship started when I was 15. And then, uh, like, all of those relationships were at least one and a half years, up to three years. Uh, and, like, it's, it all, almost always in, involved living together and... I was a proper relationship type uh, type of guy, but at one at one moment I realized that it's not really what makes me happy, and and I don't want to do that. And I escaped the relationship world because I wasn't happy in, in it. I wanted to sleep with younger, younger, and uh, hotter girls and lots of girls. I simply said I don't like this. This isn't working for me. I don't know what will work for me. I don't know what else is there in the world. But I did it because I wanted to find a new way to live my life. And maybe that's why you're learning day game too. But a question, what happens after you fucked a ton of girls and don't really care about new notches, isn't something that's being discussed in the day game community. Well, if you speak about this with someone who's in a relationship and, and is like a big relationship supporter, then they would say, ah, oh, yeah, well, you're going to fuck all these chicks and, and what's next? Well, what are you going to do with that? I mean, it's not the point of life, but they don't have the right to talk about it. They haven't been there. So to them, them asking and what's next, what's the point of all of this is just a simple way to dismiss someone's opinion by discredit, discrediting them. And when you look at what day gamers do, uh, like, like the old school guys, like uh, the other pickup coaches, when you look at what they do, it's, it's also kind of messy. Some day gamers, after getting tons of notches, they keep day gaming and they, they love it. It's, it's really, it's part of who they are and they really enjoy it. Others settle down and, and go the relationship route. Well, others also settle down and start hating on game and start hating on day game. Some start sounding like an old broken man, like someone you really wouldn't want to be when when you're your day your their age. Life after game is a subject no one touches, especially day game coaches. It's an easy way to discredit to get discredited. Oh, he started talking about life coaching and, and like all the shit that happens when someone mentions it. I see truth on both sides of the argument or on all sides of the argument. I understand that there are some guys who want to keep day gaming. I understand that there are guys who want to settle down. And I understand that people who never really take that leap of faith and never learn game and, and just live with what they have. Well, let me make one thing clear. <laughs> If, uh, if you want to learn to sleep with hot girls, you have to focus on that. Not on making money, not on going to the gym, not on traveling more, and in general, building the lifestyle you want. Learn to fuck hot girls. A lot of them. If you have less than 30 day game lays, which is in our day game church group chat, like the deacon level, if you have less than 30 day game lays, you don't know day game. That's the one Thing you should focus on you should that, that should be number one that that's it I mean if you want to focus on your business your game your lifestyle your health your fitness whatever yeah all of those things they take a lot of time pick one thing fix that thing if you want to learn to, to bank hot girls make that number one thing for your next six months like that should be everything you're th that should be everything you're thinking about everything you're doing like you should be going out every fucking week 
Nothing else matters until you get there. And if you don't get there in six months on your own, get coaching. I've said this many times before. Guys either make it on their own in six months or they make it fast afterwards by getting a coach or they keep learning for years and years. And in that way, they're stealing time. They could be devoting to their fitness, to their health, to their business and whatever other things they want to do in their lives. But you have to understand that game has to be one of the big priorities for several months if, if you really, really want to want to learn it. But after you've learned it, after you've learned with 100 or more girls and you seriously couldn't give less of a fuck about new girls because you had the threesomes, the foursomes and any other thing you wanted to try, you have several, several regulars and you sleep with a few new girls each month anyways just because chatting up girls is part of who you normally are. Why would day game be the only big thing in your life? Why would that be your only focus? You made it. It's time to learn something new. So, so once you've made it, like what, what's next? What happens next? Selfish Gene and Richard Dawkins say we're animals who act based on our genetics. So we can't change who we are. We're going to keep being monkeys and, and, and that's all there is to it. Well... Other authors argue very strongly with Richard, with, Richard, with Richard Dawkins that you can choose who you are. And it's also known that different behaviors given to us by, by our genetics develop or don't develop based on the environments we're in. So this is one another example well, when I say if you see two camps arguing very strongly against each other, with very strong arguments, whichever camp you are at, maybe you you say, oh, we're maybe you like Richard Dawkins, and you say, oh yeah, we're all we're all animals, and and we're gonna keep doing whatever our genetics tell us to do, or maybe you are in the other camp. Well, you should actually educate yourself about the other camp's opinions, and and maybe you can find some truth in between, or even change your mind. So Richard Dawkins has one opinion, uh, other, other parts of science community have different opinions. Uh, when Tom Torero was creating content, he said he will travel the world for the rest of his life and seduce no nurses when he's old. Other pickup artists have different strong opinions and if you don't like them, op those opinions, if you don't follow those opini opinions, you're just a stupid fuck who will end up married with a bitchy wife and you'll be the dad and the cat will be fucking your hot Russian wife. It's, it's like all of this nonsense is just the core of the coach's personality, core of who they are and also core of their business, business, business success. So if you don't believe that, if you don't believe their agenda, their ideas, that that's the only way to live, you probably won't buy their products. So they have to keep pushing their agendas, whether maybe they believe them, maybe they understand it's their business. I think it's depending on, on the coach. Listen, you were smart enough to not do one really stupid thing. You didn't learn sleeping with hot girls who, from people who are in relationships. You learned it from good seducers. Well, then why are you listening to the opinions of stereotypical day game coaches like the old school views on what to do once you're tired from day game? What to do when you don't give a fuck about counting your sets, doing stats, recording your sets and fucking 20 or more new girls each year? Because you've done it all. They are not the people to ask. If the only thing a guy has been successful in his life is fucking girls, maybe you shouldn't be getting your life advice from him. If, you, if all you have is a hammer, then all you'll see is nails and, and you'll see like crazy things. Everyone must dump their girlfriends and start day gaming. Everyone must try LSD or maybe everyone must try MDMA. To see life from new angles, everyone must try Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Everyone must live a digital nomad lifestyle. Don't be like that. And don't listen to people who only have one tool, a hammer. Well, unless you want to know how to nail many girls, I mean, how to hammer many nails. Once you made it in day game, once you have, let's say, 50 day game lays, maybe even 30 day game lays. Just open your eyes and think, what would excite me? What do I want to do? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing the same. 
I did when I decided to stop doing relationships. I started looking for new ways to live, something that would make me happy, excite me. That's what I did when I got bored at Riga. And I started traveling, and now I don't care about getting new lays all the time. Don't get me wrong, I, I do go out, I do day game, I sleep with girls, but I also experiment. I experiment with having, I've experimented with having one girl that's special, and then I spend a lot of time with her while also having other girls on the side, maybe like setting up threesomes on a lot of other weird stuff, or just traveling from city to city, and then learning to get regulars as soon as possible in that city, and then kind of seeing how that works for me and and I'm kind of just checking out what works for me, what doesn't, what makes me happy and if something doesn't make me happy, I, I'll do something else and once you've made it in day game, experiment, explore, do whatever you want, be curious. But again, back to the old topic, if you haven't made it there, if you if you aren't there yet, if you haven't slept, if you have slept with less than 100 girls and have less than 50 day game lays, haven't done threesomes, foursomes, same day lays and all the other crazy things you want to do, that should be the number one priority in your life. Well, getting success with girls opens uh, kind of new doors. When I coached Mr. Mr. W in uh, in Toronto a year ago, um, it was an interesting experience. It was interesting to see his his view change. So in one of the coaching days, he opens this very beautiful Brazilian girl, and and she doesn't speak English. He doesn't speak Spanish, and the whole set is done in Google Translate for like fifteen minutes. She's doing nothing. She's like just wandering around, just finished her shopping, blah, blah, blah. And he doesn't go for the same delay. And I'm just like, dude, what the fuck did you do? Why didn't you go for the same delay? It was so obvious. And he was just like, oh, I didn't think it's possible. I didn't, I didn't really thought about that. And, and he texts the girl and boom, he gets a same day delay later. He sleeps with her later the same day. He just didn't believe that the same delay was something worth even thinking about because that's just not part of his reality. And and day game opens a new view on the reality. It's like working on a fifth floor and then going to the top floor of a skyscraper, seeing a city from a new perspective for the first time. You understand how much more there is to life than what you've seen so far, like going to a different part of the world, seeing how different people live. And Mr. W quit his job and was determined to start traveling around the US later the same year. Or another example is our uh, church uh, church boy Mario. Uh, after traveling and day gaming in a few cities, <laughs> that motherfucker is thinking about starting a career in porn and, and he's really doing the research and the background background work. And it's, it's just another example, just because these guys saw how much more they're capable of and then asked themselves if I could do one thing I had always dreamed about, what other crazy dreams can I, push, can I pursue? Trying out day game shows you there is a different world. Pulling the trigger and taking a leap of faith into the world of seduction and actually getting good at it, sleeping with tens of girls, tens of new girls every year, being able to go to a new country and find a few girls to hang out there soon after you arrive. That not only shows you that there is a whole new level to life and dating, it makes that whole new level of your new reality, but it's up to you to take that leap of faith. Day game simply shows you how one part of the world works, how dating works. And if you choose to go the relationship route, well, simply take into account what you learned when you were day gaming. And if you're listening to this, you, you should get good at game. You should learn to seduce and sleep with hot girls. It shouldn't take you more than a few months, maybe six months. And if it does, get in touch with me for coaching. I'm traveling and coaching all the time. COVID hasn't stopped day game. I have a student in LA who did over 30 sets in a week in one of the worst places in the world, COVID-wise. Right now, I'm traveling around Mexico. I'll be in... I'll be back in Playa del Carmen in early March to coach some students. I still have one more spot left there. And then I'll probably soon head back to Europe. So if you want to take your game to the next level and finally make it, just shoot me an email to robert at strobert.blog. That is robert at strobert, 
dot blog or just head over to my website and on the top menu click on learn day game and if you listen to this podcast on youtube then give this video a thumbs up but if you listen to this on apple podcasts or spotify or wherever else you found it then just please give this podcast a five star review it really helps me to get this podcast in front of more people and help more guys improve their dating lives thank you for listening and bye guys